Peppa Pig Tales. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blub, blub, blub. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, <gasps> how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Peppa Pig Tales Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> no, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's 
just been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. <laughs> Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Pig Tails! <laughs> Today is sports day at Peppa's Playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race! Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg! Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No, faster. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> no! <gasps> Phew! <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss... We'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> ah. Yeah! yeah. <coughs> we lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well, too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Sports Day. Peppa 
pig tails. Flash, <laughs> splash. <laughs> Dinosaur. Today, Peppa and George are helping to make <laughs> Christmas lunch. They are giving the vegetables a bath. Quack, quack. <laughs> yes. They need bath toys. There you go, vegetables. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant when I said wash the vegetables. I finished cooking the potatoes. Why don't you and George mash them? Yes, yes. Potatoes! <laughs> not with your hands, with these. <laughs> OK, Daddy. Now, what's next, Mummy Pig? Done. That was quick. Ho, ho, ho. You've made an igloo out of potato. What fun. You can help me ice the cake now. Yes, please. With a few bits of green icing and some splodges of white icing, it looks like mistletoe. Mistletoe! Hooray! Our turn, our turn. Here you go, Peppa. You do the leaves, and George, you do the... Ooh! <laughs> like this? Well, not quite, but this is much more fun than mistletoe. It looks like a snowman. Snowman! <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are arriving for Christmas lunch. Happy Christmas, ev... Oh! Oh, my! Peppa and George's Christmas lunch looks messier than Grandma Pig expected. Peppa and George have been helping us make the Christmas lunch. It's not how we'd normally do it. No, but it's much more fun. Peppa and her family enjoy a lovely Christmas lunch <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with lots of laughter. And some fun new traditions, too. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Hmm. Aha! Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> oh! Mm. Tastes like banana too. <laughs> 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 you go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. <coughs> <coughs> It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. <gasps> oh. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I did it. The second key. 
Only one more to go. I love Parsa Parcel. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Oh, the music stopped! <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. <laughs> wow! Christmas biscuits! <gasps> Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. Hooray! Peppa Pig Tails. Snap! Oh. Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Pepper would quite like to win a game. Snap! I know. Let's play Snakes and Ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and Ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win! Two places! Now I get to go up a ladder! I'm right near the finish line! Now it's your turn, Rebecca! <gasps> oh dear! Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake! I know! Let's play Marble Run! I love Marble Run! Marble Run! But I was going to win! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning! I know! Let's play Pack the Parrot! Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot! But my marble is winning! It's going to pop up! I can't look! I know! Let's play Snap again! <laughs> <laughs> Snap! Snakes and ladders! Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales It is Christmas Eve and Daddy Pig is putting the Christmas tree on the car so it can be decorated at home. Peppa is helping. You, Peppa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, we've got all the new decorations. Birdie. Perfect. Now let's head home. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to decorate the tree. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a wonderful sleigh. Hey! <gasps> Why have we stopped, Daddy? I'm not sure we're going to fit in the tunnel with this tree. Let's try going slowly. Snowing! Oh no! Bits of the tree are falling off. Hmm. We'll have to go the long way round. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! <laughs> the trees on the road are brushing against the tree on our car. Oh, no! Maybe this road with no trees will be better. This road has no trees, so the wind is blowing the Christmas tree. All the pines must have fallen off on the way. But we need a tree for Christmas. Bertie! <gasps> George has given Pepper an idea. We can still decorate the tree and make it really fun and Christmassy. That's a wonderful idea, Pepper. Pepper and her family get to work decorating their new special kind of Christmas tree. Looks lovely. This bird thinks the Christmas tree looks lovely too. Birdie! <laughs> Wonderful, Pepper. Now the birds can have Christmas too. The birds love their new Christmas tree. Everybody loves the new Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. Pepper Pig Tails. <laughs> Pepper is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold. But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Whee! Hello, Daddy. Pepper. You're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five ah! more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs! Yay! <laughs> 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 what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Oh dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> The snow monster has found them. Peppa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I 
told you there was no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Ah. <sighs> oh, even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. <sighs> Peppa's family are having a New Year's Eve party and all the guests are arriving. Hello, Peppa. Are you excited to stay up until midnight? I'm going to have a nap, so I'm really awake for the fireworks. <sighs> Looks like George needs a nap too. Would you like a nap, Peppa? No, Mummy. We're big, so we're going to stay up until midnight. Let's go and play in my room. <laughs> What's that sound? Wake up, Peppa. You fell asleep. No, I didn't. I'm big, so I don't need a nap. How are we going to stay awake? Uh... Oh, let's make each other jump. Then we'll be really awake. Let's try it. <laughs> 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 I know what will keep us awake. Hide and seek. I'll be it. <laughs> One, two, three. Here I come. Oh, found you. <laughs> Huh? Found you! <gasps> I'm not sleeping. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Found you, Peppa! Uh, what? I wasn't sleeping. Peppa and her friends hmm. are trying to think of another way to stay awake. <laughs> Let's have something to eat. These are yummy. Now I'm so full. I'm not tired anymore. Uh, Emily, wake up. Wake up! <gasps> it's almost midnight! <gasps> we almost missed it. Maybe you should have taken a nap mm. like us. It's time for the fireworks! Fireworks! Five! Peppa four, loves staying up late three, on New Year's Eve. Two, one, happy New Year! Everyone loves staying up late on New Year's Eve. Peppa Pig Tails! <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear. No cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. 
Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute, Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No. I just like stripes. Oh. So you're not a rubber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Pepper. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Peppa Pig Tales! <laughs> Whoa! Snow day! Let's go! Peppa is Whoa. very excited to play in the snow today. Yay! Let's go! But Candy Ooh. doesn't look very happy. Ooh. It's so cold! <laughs> snow is always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Peppa and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Peppa and Candy are making a snowman. <laughs> it's very tall. That was fun. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Peppa and Candy have made a <laughs> pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished! It's perfect! This was a fun idea. Phew! It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Peppa and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> <gasps> they drink delicious <gasps> hot chocolate. <sighs> and make lovely snow angels. <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. 
Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow wow. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! Something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here, maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold! <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. <laughs> <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails! Whoops! <gasps> Peppa and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear! The cake is squashed. Oh no! My trophy cake! I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! 
Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go. Let's go. Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. <laughs> well done. Pop it in the basket. Hooray! I can save three shots at once. Ha! Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Pepper. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? We made a new cake! Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start! Hooray! Peppa Pig Tails! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Susie! Goodbye, Peppa! Oh! Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? Backwards. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend Backwards Day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forwards. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think Backwards Day might 
be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed Backwards Day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have hmm that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. The drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Good evening! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything! <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails! <laughs> boing! 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 Emily Elephant is bouncing on a space hopper. Why are you bouncing in the sandpit, Emily? It's my New Year's resolution! What is that? It's a challenge you have to do for the whole year! Mine's bouncing! Boing! Boing! I want a New Year resolution too. Peppa and her friends are going to make their own New Year's resolutions. I'm going to score a gazillion goals. <laughs> One, two. I'm going to talk in gobbledygook. Bingly bangly bibbly bobbly wibbly wobbly. <laughs> I'm going to be a tiger. Wah! 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 Hmm. I think my New Year's resolution will be to jump in muddy puddles. I just have to find some first. <coughs> Six! Uh, one! Nine! Uh, four! 
Danny Dog is muddling his numbers and getting very tired. Boing, 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 roar! <gasps> Candy Cat's roars have given Emily Elephant a fright. Emily Elephant has lost her space hopper. Where are you, Muddy Puddles? Peppa can't find any Muddy Puddles. Um, oh. Hmm, can you see any muddy puddles, Susie? No, I can't. Um, I mean, muddily, muddily, puddily, puddily. Everyone is Rawr! finding their Rawr! New Year's resolutions Bear. quite hard. <laughs> what are you all doing? Uh, we're doing our New Year's reservations. Uh, 11 to 12. Mine is jumping in muddy puddles, but I can't find any. Ho, ho, ho! New Year's resolutions aren't about doing these sorts of challenges. Aren't they? No, they're about choosing nice things to do in the next year. Things like helping with the washing up. Or tidying your room. <laughs> oh! That sounds much easier than scoring a gazillion goals. Whoop. Speak for yourself. One hundred and one. Peppa Pig Tails. It's time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <coughs> and quite heavy too. <sighs> Phew! What have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my! Some candy cane. Delicious! Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know you're sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress-up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also loves going back to Playgroup. Everyone loves going back to Playgroup. Peppa 
pig tails. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. <coughs> <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Peppa likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <laughs> Your shoelace is undone. Oh. You're not smiling. Ah. Oh. You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Peppa is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh. <gasps> oh. You're running too fast. 
<laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh. Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want a kick. Uh, who? Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This stuff is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's OK, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales! Today at Playgroup, Madame Gazelle has a special surprise. <gasps> Halloween again. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopia what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to oh. make one of our own. <laughs> hey, thank you. Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. is the best part anyway. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. Copia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. Peppa Pig Tales! <gasps> that car 
car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute, Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No. I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> Granny Pig has asked Pepper and George to find some fruit and vegetables for lunch. First on the list is a fruit that can be red or green. What do you think that can be? Hmm. <laughs> George, we don't have time to eat. We have to find fruit for lunch. <gasps> An apple. They can be red or green. Next, we have to find a long vegetable that is orange and crunchy. I know. Rebecca Rabbit always brings carrots to play group. They are long and orange and crunchy. Grandpa, where are the carrot trees? <laughs> Not Everything grows on trees. Some vegetables grow in the ground. I'll help you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a vegetable that looks like small trees. <laughs> I can only see big trees, Grandpa, not small ones. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. Ho, 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 ho. Very good, Pepper. 
Last on the list is oranges. That's odd. I don't think I grow any oranges. If there are oranges here, George and I will find them, Grandpa. Pepper and George are searching everywhere for an orange. <laughs> oh. <laughs> orange! That is the right colour, but not what we are looking for. Oranges are round. But they can't seem to find one anywhere. We found the orange! <laughs> that is the right colour, and it is round, <gasps> but that is a pumpkin. Oh. oh. <gasps> oranges! <laughs> Where did you find those oranges, Granny? We looked everywhere. From the supermarket, of course. <laughs> Pepper Pig Tails. Pepper and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> 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 Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Pepper. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pepper Pig Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. 
Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> Um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Strawberries. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. Peppa and George love <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries! Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello! Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. 
How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam! Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's birthday. Peppa and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Peppa. What do you mean? It's just a nice, quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> Have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Peppa. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. 
We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> Would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes, because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable soak. Um... I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of swede for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish. Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Peppa, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese. And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy birthday, Grandpa Pig! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <sighs> Hooray! Birthday party music, please! <laughs> <laughs> This is such fun! <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Pig Peppa Pig Peppa Pig My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Petting Farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George, and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. 
Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pizza, pizza! It is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, 
I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, <laughs> can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands. hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Oh, oh, this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Pepper! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. TV Land. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. 
We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. <laughs> Little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Roman Day. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. My goodness, what lovely paintings, Peppa and George. <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. Pretty picture, Polly? <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. 
I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <coughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. <laughs> it means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, vidi, vici. Veni, vidi, vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Veni, vidi, vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> and I will find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Pepper adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Pepper and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. <laughs> Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. But George... The Romans were very good at having baths. And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah. <laughs> Tempus Fugit! Tempus Fugit! <laughs> Hello! Mummy! Daddy! We've been playing Romans! Tempus Fugit! Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors! Hooray! Benny Vidi Vici! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans! Everybody loves being Romans! <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. 
I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh! Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch. If that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> it worked. Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs. Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <laughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <laughs> Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Pepper's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But, Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> This is my 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Super Potato Movie. Peppa and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here. Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'd have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue. <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet. OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up. Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! Hooray! Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! Hooray! <laughs> 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 